regrettably has to go up against it again. This time he's not going Renekton though. It's going to be Twisted Fate top locked in for Shanji. This will be the first time game as uh, Shun will be able to grab himself those three grubs. Drake still up on the map here, but start that Drake off as well. So a bit overforced, honestly, on the top side. Maybe, and now you have a gold card in River. Shun, you've got to be careful. You oh, think he's gone back no. to base? They thought Shanji had just run away. Shanji's setting up a play elsewhere. Rookie, no, Shanji will pick up first I blood. He be heading down the river as well, but I think on the low HP, you kind of just know that he can't influence the fight either way. It's the big thing, yeah. so Shanji gets a freebie, and now we have ourselves a 4v3 in bot side. 4v4, rather. <laughs> this is more like it. BLGLA, right, we lost one play time to kick things off. Diving in the bottom side, Fotic goes down, doesn't even get to use his flash from that combo. Look how many minions are dying to the tower. It's already almost a 20 CS lead, plus all of those are gonna go down. This is Fotic being set very far behind. Aki tries to go in, but just gets destroyed by the bottom side of the map. Let me find. Elk stays, but this is 3v2. Aki's behind them right now. Opportunity in the inventory of Elk, so he is strong at this point on the target, though. Aki just ignores Elk entirely and looks for the support. Bailout's in play, and Votic's so junked! It's not quite enough, but my god, that was close. Push win condition, so while BLG can't use it as well themselves, it's an important takeaway. And one, one thing I will say as well is when you get... So yeah. He's going to have himself a lot of damage, a lot of ability to lock to turn someone down. NIP, they need to buy themselves away into this river if they want to fight, but they're going to be able to do so. And indeed, they're not. They get themselves a bit of wave clear, well, vision clear after this point. They might get forced onto it. Oh, Rookie, good combo onto Elk here. He's the target, and he's taken down, but no, the bailout saves him. Aki Falls is now diving for more. Shun sets up onto Fotek, punts him back and sets it up for the second. And here we... they can struggle to find themselves a fight when they're not on the objective first. They kind of just spectate it going down. Here comes on! On with the flash handshake. Aki served up on a silver plate, but no. He's fallen off the table. Cutler, he's everywhere. And suddenly on's the one in trouble. The combo! Very, very bursty. However, Rookie needs to be very, very careful of that fog of war. Comes out of it, and here comes Shun. He's the target. Shun takes down his old teacher. Pretty much any lane, like, that's one of the values of it, but... So when it comes to the mid game of the team fights, you're just unkillable. The flanks you can get, the engages that you can set up on this pick are incredibly powerful. It feels a little bit like modern. It's going to be mid lane out of turret. Taken BLG, their second of the game. Yeah. That means that you start to open up this map a little bit more when you of uh, BLG. Thing yeah. is though, what's the cross map from NIP? They're looking to catch out Knight on the side lane with the hex gates. Has flash available, has TP, should he get an angle, but that's going to be the ult come through from Shanch as well. No way out of this one, Knight. Just going to be burst on down. Shockwave even fizzles at the end. It doesn't even go on cooldown. This. Knight is currently, you know, 1v2ing, 1v3ing before this and gets themselves a top lane in a turret. Great lane, oh. lane allocation. TP in behind enemy lines here. Doesn't really find the pick that they're looking for. This is going to be Drake for BLG. And NIP, kind of a lackluster attempt at finding that. Uh, NIP, it's not been... Oh, I have to see if Elshun goes for the engage. Oh. He's looking for it. Going forwards as well. NIP, got to be careful. Then could, oh, Bond's just gonna dive forwards and handshake to start it. Rookie, the target. CC taken down. Now a shockwave onto two as well as Knight. This Renata, Shanji with the gold card, wants to set up a play, but like you say, Aki can't even be a part of this one. He's not even near the pit. He might even go down to pit on the side as Baron is taken. And now Aki the target as they start to look for more. BLG, we saw them chase down just a moment ago. They're going to try and make it happen again. Bin setting things up, looking for the knock-up. That's a flash burn. His votix has been found. Shun diving into Kills the rookie. TP comes through. Rookie re-enters the fight. And the bailout isn't enough. Even Rek'Sai can't dive that. His flash has now just come up. So for the next play, slightly harder of a target. But in the meantime, this Baron going to do so much work. These tier twos behind the wall. It's like full on artillery here. Oh my god, he's found himself. It's a tactical from. cannon minion. It's found how to use cover. <laughs> Ah, oh, superior strategic binds. Red stacks on the dragon. NIP, you cannot let this go for free. Handshake lands onto Chuo. The tidal wave comes out immediately. Does survive as Aki's over the wall. It's not enough. He doesn't find it. And the ultimate from Shun denies Aki's own. Four players remain for NIP. But Bin doesn't want that fact to be true for long. Dives into the action as Votix engaged by Shun. Shockwaves the Sombrero coming out from Knight. He's fancying tacos tonight. As Elk steps forward again, it's a long old scrap as the spiraling despair comes through. On could be in trouble here. Big damage across the team, but 
<laughs> just nobody's going down. Not just yet. They're trying NIP to fight fight back as best they can with a lot of those ultimates being down. They do get themselves a tower in the mid lane, but still, Ren. Aki has been controlled remarkably well from BLG this entire game, from early game and elsewhere. And Shanji now potentially in a 1v2 on the side lane. Yeah, doing his best to outspace this one, but he can't outspace the hero Smiter. In the series against WE, he was the one that got that Elder Dragon and kept NIP in playoffs. Might just look for it again. Nilt goes wide, and the hostile takeover denies any such play from existence. BLG, they make it look easy. The control, as you worded it, over the enemy jungler has been immaculate. I don't even think Aki has played that badly. I think BLG no. have just been so prepared for him. They've had him warded out in his early game. They have stopped him at every turn. I think in particular, I think on a night as the bulwarks of uh, BLG threatening with a shockwave and the ultimate have stopped NIP's aggressive advances at every turn. This has not been a close game. BLG have taken this game by the neck and slammed it into the ground. Votic forced to flash by Bin. It's funny, isn't it, watching Bin play Rex? It doesn't feel like he's been able to outright 1vx in the way that you usually expect from the amount of pressure he's still putting out despite this matchup has been kind of insane to watch and i don't know if blg can actually end right here maybe just wait for the next wave before they continue this siege unfortunately couldn't get the artillery position set up for their cannon this time but they will be able to just walk this in on the next wave NIP struggling to clear these Baron minions and on stepping forwards. Rookie chunked there. Ah, the old Chunk gets out with his life. BLG can just keep going forwards. The six rooms pay off. The Void might come out. This entire wave across the team, but it doesn't seem to really matter much. They need oh! the tsunami. And that's the shockwave flying on in BLG. A night specifically. Make it look beautiful as they finish out game number one. Oh, Knight has been spiking that ball into the ability of Yasuo on the minion wave and then also his wind wall. And this is now an interesting answer from NIP because we saw that BLG took the Tristana so NIP couldn't lock in the, the, the Tristana Maokai on 4-5 and they lock it in the barrels in an abstract way. It can be a front line because no one wants to walk into the gangplank barrels. Something like this though, lantern forwards, here comes the flash. Flash from Elk immediately on, has his own, but W's the opposite direction here. Flayed back, then flashes and dashes away, but still taken down. First blood in the hands of Dwarf. Knight oh, actually getting all in the lane as well. The bomb is already down. Level 6 not hit for Rookie. Rocket following from Photic. In the meantime, Aki up on this top side. Hex flash in the mid lane. Knight still has that flash. Oh, but the threshold kind of denies the buffer. It's not enough. Rookie doesn't go in. Yeah, that's one of the, the things about Thresh. Thresh the Lantern. He saw me the wrong direction, to be honest. And you are just walking the wrong side of the lane. I almost baited Fotic as uh, comes the combo comes in as the counter engage from the side of NIP. And the rest of the gang is here. Moon Breath and Shun gets the brunt of it. It kind of fell apart a little bit as soon as objectives went away from them in that last game. Sadly for BLG, their mid lane and Knight, who was so active in the last game and the early game. Yeah, yeah. If they fall with style, that means they didn't die to the Moonfall, right? So they can go Buzz Aldrin on this one. I don't anyway, back to know how to use that one. Well, <laughs> looks like BLG are trying not to eat Moon Rocks with this combo. They're avoiding the Dana and going straight onto Shanji uh -oh. with a double bop. Yeah, what can you do? Shanji Bin even slides in to just steal the kill at the last second. However, Arn has been found on the top side of that. So. BLG do not want to face up into this combo. What BLG realistically need to do is combo. The problem is. If you pay too much respect, then of course things will fall apart and you don't get access to that need to look for that play too. If they'd gotten that play, it would be nice to get some control over Vision, but now Shun going down towards bot side. There's no wind wall here to save it. Aki's here to protect though. Yeah, they can win from behind. And in this game, the problem is you can't just go in for a full 5v5. You need to take away some of these um, uh, these big tools. It's going to be very hard time. We could be going for a flip, but if you give that flip, Botic starts to get excited. BLG moving behind everyone, the flame choppers down and Shun just caught out, forced to flash, the equalizer still burns him though, as the moonfall goes in, NIP, absolute chaos on the rift, BLG torn asunder but Bin finds one, Elk still going as Rookie and Shanji are there to cut him down, Bin in a 1v2 against the NIP solo laners and he knows he's got no shot, NIP take the third Drake. BLG venture into the dark and they find a death shows that they can go even more beyond that. I think a lot of people who are predicting a 3 0 can understand why, but you can see what NIP are bringing to the table here. Great to see 
having this presence on, potentially caught out. He is on Rakan. He can never really quite catch Rakan out and instead turns it into an engage. His knight jumps into the action. Buster shot though, and the moon breath lands once more. On goes down, but Rookie is low. Elk survives and he takes one with him. Rookie to fall. This is 4v4, but Sean can't escape. There's so much flying at him. It's debris. Um, damage over time and, and AP scalings and whatever. He goes towards the Randuins a little later into his build, and we do see a pick onto Aki. Damage onto Aki goes for the Moonfall, but there's no combo there. And now Bin arrives on the scene. Aki is caught out with 17 seconds until Drake comes up. Aki's got nowhere to go, and he will go down. Shun finds Shanji on top of it as well. The combo's there. Shun, you gotta survive this one. They need you for this. Oh, the rocket! The rocket's in! And Shanji lives through as Photic on the resets the lantern to get him out. Safety death sentence wide as Rookie finds Elk, but Elk flashes away. Photic now getting the rockets out. Elk corralled by NIP as Rookie closes the distance, but Elk slides out the bottom side of the play. NIP somehow still in it. We are recalculating our flight paths in this one. Elk, he might have found himself into a bit of an asteroid field. It's a hex flash into death. He will skate. Last twist. I don't think there will be. Bit of Morse code coming out. NIP saying, save our dragon souls. BLG showing that they are. Oh, we're back in the live, folks. Oh, it's all kicking off and suddenly it's voting. I don't know how this happened, but the moon breath lands once more. BLG, they need a minute to survive this one as the buster shot. Knight's still going on this one. As on escapes on the bottom side of the plate. I can try to get onto this bike line. Bin must go huge if BLG wants to survive this series. But he just walks away with his tail between his legs. NIP, the the moon breath works out. Baron's on the cards. Shanji hunting for oh, Bin. Bin caught, can't teleport, and will burn on down. Oh, and have themselves. Ocean Soul and Baron to boot as well. They will start taking control. Oh, wait, wait, not in pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> it, it all makes sense. Oh, dear. NIP, though, I love the way they're doing this. And dare I say, bringing out this composition against BLG, coming into this series after game number one being so one-sided and finding this win, this feels a little bit like Mojo to me. This feels oh, a does. little bit like Mojo, and if anyone's ever had it, it's Rookie. So NIP, they need one last fight to carry themselves over this finish line. Elder in three minutes, I think they can fight before that. Here comes the equalizer. I think it's just for the turret right now, but it's enough damage to force the carries back. BLG scrambling once again. The equalizer comes down. You just hear the haunt in the distance. Pa, 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 pa. <laughs> Wait, I was trying to do Helldivers, but that was just the Avengers. <laughs> I, I always do that. As uh, Arn just caught out here. Oh, the Ignite, not quite enough. Does dash out to safety, but Shun might not be so lucky. Aki only gets one with the Moonfall, and BLG are still alive. Aki caught the wind wall is so obnoxious. And Aki walks away with his life. He's got that Ocean Soul as well, so the sustain is there for NIP as they continue to search. But Bin, with the World Ender, wants to find Zhuo, gets the chains on with the knockup as well. The knockup only on to Bin here as I get up to the back line. Keep your eyes on Elf though, because Rookie has found him, and Bin is alone, Fotic winning at the speed of light, and NIP go even in the series. It's one store step. Stun, right? But also, I mean, he's just one of the very best to ever do it. Like, the hiding the balls in the wall to get stuns on JDG all the way back in 2020, making a name for himself in the mid lane on this pick. He's with a strike in the end, so Naki sees his window, goes for it, and will be rewarded for that. Cheeky little dragon take there. Nice start for NIP. Has brought some massive victories for yeah. NIP recently. Yeah, the biggest problem as well is like Knight. He's well, four mil first item definitely helps against the Zeri and the uh, over oh, Sorry, against the Lucian and the uh, Renekton. Even the Shinsau as well. Elk and Arn get yourself an opening elsewhere. Knight needs to be careful. Will be knocked up here, forced to flash away once again. Voting though may have to do the same. Flash comes out from Elk, and it's enough. Voting gets away. That is so close. I think that was just a last minute shield coming in from draw to save that. Aki now caught out in the enemy jungle. Stun oh, coming through. The worm is on the other foot, Aki. This time Knight's got you. <laughs> they don't want to be mind controlled any longer.
The summoners lived in harmony until like Zeri attacked. Which which champion started this off? Oh, maybe about how you go about um, creating non kind of standard stories like that. This one's a bit more of a standard story though against the mid lane and for BLG as well. So briefly back towards the game. The Herald used that, um, and now suddenly when you're playing against the Army, oh, Fidon's offside. Trying to get onto Knight here. The stun gonna come up through. Unleash power, but it's bot lane of NIP is coming down. I think with the Dominus pop, that's no longer an option. You can definitely give it a try though. Can they outspace him? Botic still wants it. Q lands. Shun and Knight are going for that one. Zaki is in the top half. Okay. So, NIP. It's not quite as bad on the objective scenarios of Shanji, who is alone at the pass, and he's going to be cut off by BLG. Stun will land. Shun moves in as well. There's not even a tower to run to. Shanji is going to do his best here, but Shun staying on the opposite side, so no all-out window is there. Knight takes a good shot. Oh! Love that Shun one, though. Knight needs to be so, so careful. It's a big victory getting that flash off of Syndra. Syndra is not hey, so losing, um, you know, most of the control of the map is that you lose all of your jungle camps with it. Bin is now going to start running towards Shanji, and because the map is so open, the team can just take their leisurely time getting towards him, and Shanji is probably on a one-way trip. Yeah. He, uh, managed to find some Double kind of miracle last time. Bin does get the stun. And Elk's here just to clean things up. Can he do it again? No, he can't. Unfortunately for them, Photic has to go catch that wave. Stun lands onto Rookie and immediately shun dives in. Rookie forced to flash as a wave denies the escape from Aki. Shanji already lost his From behind the plate. This is becoming a yeah. continual issue for them. If they fall behind the game, they cannot afford to keep letting these objectives go so easily. This is a mojo play right here. If nobody checks it, Aki oh is Oh my word, what an angle! Someone is there and they fight Knight! The mojo is strong, but Knight is still surviving! Meteor down is not enough! There's only a little late from Knight. But here we go, Bin comes into the top side, and it's an absolute brawl on the rift. Bin keeps them away as Elf finishes off Rookie. They're culling across the team as Shun tanks on the front line. Shanji doing his best to get the team into the Knight. Place, but the TP from Knight is so deep. I can't believe he's gone from that, and I can't believe he's almost surviving as well. Finally falls, but it costs everyone. BLG, they One last attempt at a steal. He had an angle before, couldn't make it work. He has one last shot to try and make something of this. Mojo turns into Nojo for NIP. <laughs> Aki caught out and he might actually just die to bin here as well. A TP coming on through. That's going to be Rookie rejoining the play. And Aki will survive. It's a shot. This, uh, this area is the late game insurance. This area, Yumi, nasty, nasty combo once you get into multiple angles of uh, attack later on. But he can't. Temporary invincible frontline. Given the right situation, NIP, because of that, against six scrubs, have death cap on Rookie, but they are not in the river again. Shanji needs to be a frontline, but it's so hard for him to do it against this gold disadvantage. Look at the burst damage and the tidal wave zones any support. Shanji. That quickly, but Shanji won't be here to frontline just yet. He's getting here quickly, might just be a flip. Aki goes in looking for the 50 50 smite here. DPS stopped on the Drake, though. And the smite's a little bit early. Shun grabs it as Bin starts the fight once again. Shanji burst out once again. That's twice now that Shanji's been almost 100 to 0 in the fight. And he doesn't have a third TP to work with. Now BLG pushing forwards. They've got that Mark Soul. It means they're so tanky. Elk happy oh, to nice. be on the front line. And Knight flashes for the stun. It's buffered, but the unleashed power won't be stopped. Shun steps on in as NIP desperate to escape. But BLG, they don't want to give them a split second. Elk moves mid to start taking objectives as the rest of BLG. They're like a collie and NIP a sheep. They're rounding them up, putting them into the pens, putting them into the death zone. Big ultimate coming down from Rookie. Bin is in a 2v1, and I think Photic wins those, but Bin dashes away at the last second, gets away from the queue. Rookie trying to punish the croc, but he sacrificed his own life to make it happen. One for one there. Photic desperate to finish this recall off. Can Shun find the W in time? They're in the pixel brush, and Photic realizes he's not getting away from this one. Has to try and DPS it out, but Shun will find him, and the culling comes on through. Capital C on that. After that point, Continuing our worries about the team, about how they approach these objectives. On the other side of it, though, let's be fair about it. BLG's objective Conversation set. Their opponent today is BLG. It would be a way to enter it. Aki, he's been so good on the Smice earlier in playoffs, but Shun has been so controlled. Into the pit he goes, but it's too little and it's too late. Stuck with the scout of the week. Cunning comes through. 
forcing NIP into difficult decisions. Yes, it is a bit of a flip, but with Aki down, even if they'd lost the Baron's Baron flip, killing the enemy jungler, who is the one bit of CC that can really threaten the enemy team, you can understand why BLG would be even happy to take that. Now they have the six yeah. grubs pushing in towards the inhibitor. That has been just absolutely demolished. What side going to be similar? NIP, they have 10 seconds on their jungler, and they can't defend. Been TPing to the bot wave as well to protect it, so Fotic couldn't clear it, meaning that they get that second in here. Really smart TP, even though it wasn't long range. Still a great TP from Bin. Two in hips taken onto these Nexus Towers. Fotic does get stunned by nine, but no follow up whatsoever. Playing the slow one here for BLG, but oh! it ain't slow anymore. It's slow until they find a moment and suddenly help Buzz banish BLG with an absolute masterclass in the third game. Making it look similar to that first one of the series. NIP against the ropes. It's not the first time they have been in this playoffs, but they've got to make a miraculous comeback if they want to win here in round four of spring 2024. The NIP knocked on. Comes into you, that layer comes into you. And that's why it's Ooh. not going to be the Nar. It's the Orn. It is lo it is weak side central. Bin just wants to be unkillable in a side lane beyond a certain point. Of course, safe from that for now. And the backs are stopping NIP. He's used the EOL. Oh, Elk, this is your problem. Someone is available for Fotic as Juo. Hex flashes towards Elk, gets the root onto on the hook. Is there? Fotic trying to set it up as Aki moves in. One last rocket in the flash for first blood on in no man's land. And he does have a spot lane on the roam as well. How quickly can Shun and Knight get themselves on the board? This duo, this Fiari from these two players has been absolutely legendary, as you mentioned. Um, and champion selects NIP. They're not out of the woods yet, but it's a fantastic start from three grubs as well. They will not sniff at that. BLG going to be the ones to trade Drake for this one. You'd expect them to be able to just finish this one. Aki moving into the bottom side, but with on there and a control board in that brush. Not sure that's a fight they want. Juo may have overstepped for this, honestly. Yeah. He's in tri brush right now. Fotik is trying to help out his support. Juo, uh, where are we? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Rookie has to try and bail the play out. And suddenly, On is the one in no man's land, but he uses Fotic as a way to get to his team. Puts Fotic into the play. Twelve's going to go down. So is On. And Fotic gets a reset. Shun has to try and escape from this one as Fotic continues to fire away. Knight. Inside oh. NIP. Very happy as an ensemble unit from the other game. Shanji going to go for a Dominus up top here. Trying to get some damage down onto Bin. I'm not sure there's kill threat, but maybe I'm wrong there as he gets a couple more autos in. Bin looks for the Orn combo, gets the knockup. Doesn't get the knockup off of the Q though. And the Brittle flashed away from Shanji. Escaping with his life, but good combo from Bin there. Oh, on. on now has stepped way too far out of position. And just gives a free kill over. Botic swapping up to the top side here. It's NIP. Gonna grab themselves six grubs. I feel like grubs have been very one-sided in this series. Like over the last few weeks, we've seen a lot of teams trading grubs, going like two for one on each grub spawn, and like generally. One of the problems against one is that they can actually stop hitting towers pretty effectively. Um, see right there, though. Oh, I knocked up a little tower. bit. One horn is available if Bin wants to go for it, and he will. Looking for that first knockup. That's gonna be there. Brittle comes by Nari. The breath comes in to get the second brittle, but. Shanji spaces it, Knight moves over, the knockup is there and the follow-up is too easy. Charm for Rookie. Does feel like that is the way in for BLG. I mean, Knight on the Malignants, four stacks on the Dark Seal. It is, uh, it's exciting. Rookie's walked up, this is the problem. BLG, they have the side lane punish comp. Rookie's gonna make the magic happen, but you can't do much against the flash ult from Shun. Trying to avoid going up to the big confrontations. They're opening up the map on, walking across now with the ultimate on the Alistair to be tanky. Puts down Vision, knows that he's safe to do so. Knight Drone to nice and minions to that tower. You see that on the other side. We do have the Herald being pushed in in mid lane. Nice check in, but I mean, even a level 12, he's so One ult, here we go. Combo wants to draw here, and the TP immediately. His ult flashes away, and it means Elk is caught out. On betrays his AD. Showcasing that while BLG might win through side lanes, the straight up 5v5s are much harder. The Nautilus and the Talia are very, very strong at denying different entries into the fight and finding that first pick. And BLG don't manage the execution of the approach. They're going to get punished. The problem is now, um, BLG would have loved to just cross map at that point. Just get themselves a, a push in and side lane. Can't really do that on bot side, I suppose. But they would love to get themselves something else. Right now, Botix caught. Can the charm land? Yes, you believe it can. Knight, 
finds himself yet another. That's four kills. That's eight Dark Seal stacks. And that is BLG's hope in this series. On his court once again, having a terrible game on the Alistair as El tries to save his support. On dodges away from the rocks. Draw has to follow, and Rookie flashes to finish the kill. Now Shun gets into the action. Claiming it as his own in this one. Eight stacks in it right now. Once you get past 10 stacks, you get yourself an extra 10% bonus movement speed. Now, I don't know about you, Renekton playing as high movement speed champions kind of sucks. Same with trying to hit skill shots onto this mobile box in the mid lane as well. You press that W, you go up to about, you know, 50% movement speed for a short burst of speed. Now you see Encore out again! He does find a knock-up aftershock there, but I mean, he just goes down. He's really carry roll. A little bit behind the curve there compared to Elk in terms of items, but... Even still, he'll be happy with that. And a tier one goes down. The bot side of the play, NIP trying to contest. Okay, Bin trying to hold the door shut. He can press W into the first Nautilus hook, and indeed he does. That's the power of this Orn. Actually a front line compared to other champions, and we might come through into a flip. Shanji has flash on the flank, and here comes the wall. Wall comes through, it's a 50-50 on the spike, and it's taken by Elk, and the fight might be two. First kill already, and Elk stacking away. Knight dives in on the Ari to find a little bit more. Caught by a zap, though, is drove forced away on the He's carries now. And it's like you said before, on maybe behind in the game. It's still level six, Shall Alistair, I? and this time it's Dwarf caught out. On sets up for the follow up there. The stun comes in. Can they actually finish the kill though? He's tagging one last jar. Will do the trick. Flick back from uh, Rookie onto his opposite member, but Knight gets out with his life. So it's 14 stacks now. Again, you get five AP per stack. So on top of the regular 20 on top of it, that's 70 AP to take this match up. And looking phenomenal so far in this game. Trying to clear the wave here. Shun moves in to try and protect as well. Rookie does not get caught. And the wave will be cleared. Nice. Oh, he gets it. That second on the rocks. And Rookie turns golden, but I don't think he can survive this one. It's Zeri to get the kill as Elk starts it off. And BLG, they've never won from a deficit this split, but they are making it. Oh, happen. Shun. The Orn Horn on top of Shun's engage. Immaculate gameplay in the mid lane, in the mid game. And now. He dissolve it. He's had a great game on the Talia, but it just hasn't been enough. This is the problem playing against BLG, usually low cooldown ultimate. Shun on, looking to help him set up for that as well. Smashing through these turrets with the Baron buff. And guess what? They may have been behind before, but they know how to play with the lead, and they have that lead. It's 5,000 in their favor. With Baron on top, the horn horn sounds, and Rookie doesn't have a flash this time around. He doesn't even get to move. In fact, he did a flash up, but he didn't get to use it in time. The flash up from Bin, too damn clean. And I think that phrase represents this entire team this year. They lose one in the best of fives, but they are knocking on the doors of the Nexus. Two cannons setting this one up. As Aki tries to defend the mid lane, there's still a tier two in that mid lane as BLG realize they've got to go the long way around. Oh, my word. BLG, they are absolutely ruthless. Walking forwards uh, onto the, again, just came, continuing to get themselves onto the map, containing that vision. All items from Bin being a huge factor in this too. Now you have the Obsidian Cleaver, you've got his own, uh, uh, that Parasite in the top side as well. You dash out and lock it too. BLG just continually getting more stats on the board. Yeah, weird to see the AD carry, the only one not with an upgrade. It's oh. a flash in from Shanchi, but I don't think he's got the damage. And nobody there to follow it up. Aki just clearing the wave as this goes on. A night now, try wait, Elk just dives into three. And in the meantime, draws caught out. How does nobody punish Elk for that? 1v3, he dives forward, and he's still on half his HP. No, he's not, because Fozik just autos him. Elk with a massive misstep, and now they dive under the tower. Who cares if you've got no AD carry? Rookie is going to try and survive here. Knight charging forwards again. Rookie versus the world here in the mid lane. Bin's behind him as Sean dashes forward once more. The knockback is there. Aki has a bit of I mean, Bin's just invincible. Who can kill him? Who can He's kill been him? He's for like 10 minutes straight. Bin's still got half his HP. Rookie now turns golden. Flash still there, but it's not going to come through. Another double. 11, 0, and 5. Knight has taken over against one of the best mid laners in the world. Knight gets his signature, Ari, and he dominates NIP. He makes them rue the day they ever made it to double elimination. BLG, your first seed, Knight, your spring split MVP, will go three and one against NIP. What domination. BLG, they dropped a game against NIP.